feel like I have breath. I need to do more brioche. Is this sweater gonna have sleeves? No, wait, what? Hey y'all, it's Taylor from YokiBee.com. Welcome to my channel where I share crochet and knitting patterns and tutorials, as well as finished projects and lots and lots of fun fiber things. It is almost Make Along Spring Make Along time again, and so I thought today I would go through all of the Make Along projects that I have made so far. I don't think I've done a video quite like this before, and I thought it would be fun to go through each of the projects and also go over the new things that I learned with each project. That's one of the super cool things about the Knit Along is that you almost always learn something new. I definitely have learned so many new things and I've enjoyed learning all of them. I'm so glad to have them in my crafting tool bag. Not familiar with Knit Collage, it is a yarn company founded by Amy Small and her yarn is hand spun in India. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is full of so many fun details and trims and just textures and just all sorts of amazing, amazing goodies. I just love it so much. It is my absolute favorite yarn brand. I actually found it several years ago and when I found it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is literally me in a yarn. And so ever since I have been in love with it, they host a make along two times a year, so spring and fall. And the first time I was ever able to be a part of the make along was in this spring of 2020. I had always wanted to do it and I had never been able to participate. When I was able to finally participate, it was just so much fun. I enjoyed it so much and I have I've just stuck with it ever since. It is such a privilege to be able to be an affiliate with Knit Collage now. I was using them long before I was ever an affiliate, but now I am able to be an affiliate. And so if you do decide to purchase a kit or if you do decide to purchase yarn, it would help me out so much if you want to use my affiliate link. I will put that down in the description box below. It is just such a wonderful opportunity to increase your knitting and crochet skills, try crochet if you've never tried it or try knitting if you've never tried it. For all of the main designs, there are video tutorials. So they take you through step by step so that you will be successful with your project no matter what. I have certainly used the video tutorials for a lot of techniques that I wasn't sure about and so they've been super helpful. You get all of the patterns from the make along, not just the pattern that you purchase with your kit, but you get all of the patterns. So if later on you wanna make another one of the designs with scrap yarn, you can do that. I've definitely done that a few times. As I go through these, I will let you know the ones that I used with scrap yarn. I'll be sure to put a link to the kits down below. They will be live today when this video is posted. Just make sure if you have your eye on one and you want to be a part of it that you go ahead and grab that up in the colorway that you want so that you don't miss out. But let's go ahead and dive into all of the make along projects that I have made since 2020. got this sunburst pillow. This was the first project that I ever made for the spring 2020 make along. I just think it is the coolest pillow. It's looking a little bit worn at this point because I've used it for several years now, but I absolutely love it. And I really want to make another one because I just think it's the coolest. I love the textures. I love just the color combinations and everything. I think this would be a great scrap yarn project because you could even do like a different color for the back. I think most of these patterns are now available on the Knit Collage website. Most of the time, I think it's about a year before the release to everyone. So this is a really cool one. I don't know that there were any new stitches that I learned with this one, but I just think it is a super, super cool piece. So for that same make along, I really wanted to make the kaleidoscope sweater. The reason why I chose the pillow is because I think I wanted an accessory for my home. I also really wanted to make the kaleidoscope sweater. And so I used some scrap yarn that I had and this is the kaleidoscope sweater. It is super, super cute. And I love all of the colors. It has some of the very first knit collage that I ever purchased in it. It was this orange here. I absolutely love the colorway. And I think I got it on clearance or sale or something like that, but I absolutely love it. There are also some other colors of Knit Collage in here, some Kenyari Bazaar. That's one of my absolute favorites. And then I've got just other scrap yarn in here. I've got some denim in here that I tore into strips. I've got some neon. I've got some cotton yarn. I think there's a little bit of wildflower. I even added some of the little trims that you get when you purchase your yarn. I added those in here. I thought that was a cute little addition, these little neon trims, because I love them so much and they're so, so cute. And then there are the cutest little flower details in here as well. Now I did wash this one time on delicate which I should have just hand washed it but I was being really lazy and so some of the stuff did get a little bit frayed but that is totally my fault and I should have been more careful with it but it's still super cute and in really good condition so this is the kaleidoscope sweater they've done several different versions of this and I've actually made another one for I believe it was in 2021 I made one for my mom I also made one for my daughter later on so you'll see those in just a second now I did learn the German twisted cast on for the neck here that was something I had never done before and so I was really excited to learn that new cast on and I've used it several times since. So that is the kaleidoscope sweater. 
So next was the fall 2020 and I chose this plaid party cardi that I'm wearing right now. This is probably my favorite piece that I've ever made. Now it's not the piece that I wear the most because it's not quite as versatile as some of the other ones that I have, but I just think that this is the coolest sweater. I just think this plaid design is just so, so genius. I always get excited about choosing a color combo and I just had to go with the color combination that was on the model in this one. I absolutely love it. I used the, I believe it's lavender dust, Fun cloud and lavender dust and then a mini sampler kit I think in like pop tart maybe was what it was called and so you got some spun cloud you got some daisy chain some wildflower but I absolutely love this sweater it is just the absolute coolest and I don't know that I necessarily learned any specific new techniques but the way it was all put together was definitely challenging but challenging in a good way I love it so much I really should make another one and try to make one out of just some yarn that's completely different just to see what it looks like in a different yarn so this is the only piece that I made for the fall, but I did end up making a plaid-tastic scarf with almost all the same yarns. Of course, I had leftovers, so I really wanted to make a scarf out of it. And then I just used some of the yarn that I had on hand already. I had some really cool batik fabric that I tore into strips to make fabric yarn. I've got that tutorial, and I will link it down below if you want to check that out. But I've got some other knit collage scraps in here, and I think that was it. There is some recycled yarn in here, but I also wanted to make a scarf. I just love this super cool technique, and I was super excited to make a scarf out of it as well. And I was glad that I had enough yarn to Next we have the spring 2021 make along and for that make along I made the gumdrop sweater. The gumdrop sweater was a bonus design so with the bonus designs you don't get the video tutorials you just get the video tutorials for the main designs but you do get all of the bonus patterns as well. So I chose a bonus pattern because I really loved this gumdrop sweater. This is the first time I had ever used this serenity clay yarn and I think that this was when she first came out with it. This is the color Peony. I'm not sure if it's available still, but I'll be sure to put all the information down below and I'll let you know if it's discontinued or not. But I really loved working on this. It was a pretty simple sweater, but I did end up learning the linen stitch, which I had never tried before. That's what's in this wildflower right here. This was a wildflower mini sampler kit, I believe. I really just loved the contrast of this kind of dusty pink color. I think this is also, yes, I chose the same color that was on the model this time as well. I just loved it so much. It's a really great spring sweater because it's very like breezy. But that same make along, I also made another kaleidoscope sweater. This time I made the one with embroidery on it. So I wanted to make this one for my mom for Mother's Day. And so I just chose the solid color and then I added in the embroidery in the wildflower yarn. That was really fun as well because I had never done embroidery on knitwear before. And so I was able to do that. And I also added in some silver beads that were from my grandmother. My mom's family lived on a Navajo reservation growing up and so it was a really neat opportunity to put that into the sweater and kind of add that special detail to the sweater so that was a fun one to make as well. Please excuse the lighting and actually it was snowing earlier so I thought it would be perfect because the sun wouldn't be going in and out but it is definitely now going in and out y'all this is our spring right now. Pretty much like winter still. All right. So next up was the fall of 2022. No, wait, what? So next up is the fall of 2021. And this one, I chose a colorwork sweater. I had really only done a beanie, I think, with color work before. So I wanted to get more practice with color work and I thought this would be a great opportunity to do it. I still need to work on my color work a lot because my tension is still not great, but I just haven't chosen another sweater yet to do. That is on my list of things to do. So I chose the Express Yourself sweater. I believe this was also the time when the Harley sweater was an option. And as much as I love that one, and now of course I have done that one, which we'll go over that one. That's my most recent make from the make alongs, but I just really wanted to work on a color work sweater. And I think this one was more budget friendly as well. So that's why I went with this one. Mine is a little bit different than the picture. I added a little kind of cowl neck here at the top. And honestly, the reason why I added that, although I am happy with the cowl neck, is that my yoke was too long. So I think I was so nervous about making my attention too tight with color work that I ended up making it too loose and then my yoke ended up being just way too big. So it's definitely something that I need to continue to work on but I'm happy with how it turned out and I really like the little cowl part. I especially love it because I love this pink color. This is also the Serenity Boucle yarn and I was excited to try this highlighter color and then also this 
pink here. I can't remember exactly if it's just neon pink, but I'll be sure to put that down below. I'm not sure if they still have this highlighter shade, but I'll be sure to mention that too if they've discontinued that color. So this is my Express Yourself sweater, and I absolutely love this sweater. I'm really happy that I chose this one, and especially because later on I got to do the Harley sweater. I am super happy that I was able to do that one as well. It is a super cozy and comfortable sweater. So for that same fall 2021 make along, they came out with a kid's kaleidoscope. So I knew I wanted to make it for my daughter. I think it's hilarious that like her sweaters that I make her are always like inside out on the hanger. I didn't realize this until I was editing my video, but the video that I made with my everything I made in 2023, I had shown her vest and realized when I was editing the video that I was holding it inside out the whole time because she had hung it up inside out. So that was pretty funny. I used up some scraps that I had this purple color here is from my mom's kaleidoscope sweater. I think it's the color orchid, I believe, in the spun cloud yarn. And then I used some We Are Knitters and I used just some other scraps I had on hand. There's a little bit of Malabrigo Rasta in here, some King Cole Limited and some other Batik fabric strips. I think that's the majority of the yarn in here. It was really fun to make one for her. I just love being able to have a little mini kaleidoscope for her. We are on to spring 2022 and I believe that this is the first time that they had crochet in the make along. So it used to be the knit along and now they call it the make along because there is crochet in I think almost every single one since there's been crochet. So that's been really cool. So because it was the first time having crochet in the make along and also because I love this design so much, I chose the Corinne Cardi. So this has a combination of crochet and knit. Of course, the body of the sweater here is crocheted and then the sleeves are knit. And I really liked the combination of that. I was excited to kind of try a different color as well. I chose again the Serenity Boucle yarn and then this is the color Fatigue Green I believe and then I can't remember the name of the Wildflower mini kit that I got for the granny squares but this is probably my most worn cardigan. If you have watched several of my videos you've probably seen me wear it a lot. It's hard to call it my favorite because I love them all for different reasons, but it is definitely my most worn. I love wearing this in all different ways. I've worn it with several different things underneath. I've worn it with a dress. I've worn it with high-waisted jeans. I've worn it with just leggings. So I absolutely love this sweater and I had so much fun working on it. I really should make another one because I know that I would wear it all the time. I do have a video about most of these designs, so I'll be sure to link the entire playlist down below if you want to check it out. But I absolutely love this one. It is just a super cute sweater. For that same make along, there was a brioche option and I had never done brioche before and I really wanted to learn brioche. Oh, now it's starting to get a little nuts again, this, this sun. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay, we'll go with this for a little bit. I had always wanted to learn brioche and so I knew that I wanted to make a Girl With Me Cardi and I was hoping that I had enough scraps on hand to make one. And so I actually unraveled <laughs> one of my other sweaters to make this sweater. You guys may know that I am a big fan of frogging, especially if you love the yarn and are not gonna wear the piece. I just say frog that thing and use that yarn for something else. And so that's exactly what I did. I had designed that sweater a long, long time ago and I just found that I never wore it. And so I wanted to use that yarn. This yarn was from Melanated Boho Bay and it's so, so special. And so I knew that I wanted to have it be the centerpiece of whatever I was going to make it with. This Growth Me Cardi was the absolute perfect Perfect design for it. So I had so much fun learning it. This is actually a reversible. So either side, which I think is super cool. I was originally going to use this side and then I decided that I wanted the hand spun yarn to be kind of more of a feature on it. And so I decided to wear it this way, but you can wear it either way. And so that's the fun part about it. I definitely fell in love with brioche with this cardigan and I absolutely loved making it. I did put in some other scraps in here. This cream color here is the wool and natural from we are knitters i've got a little bit of darn good yarn in here some silk sari yarn recycled silk sari yarn and then more knit collage i held it together with i think some hand dyed yarn i need to do more brioche that's the problem is there's just not enough time to do all these techniques and keep them up in your brain so i'll definitely have to kind of relearn it. I knew that if I wanted to learn brioche, this would be a great opportunity for me to learn it because I knew that all the videos were gonna be there taking you through step by step and it really, really was helpful. And it didn't make it seem very intimidating. And honestly, I have to say that there were definitely things you have to get used to like learning any new technique, but I was pleasantly surprised that it was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. 
Next we have got fall 2022 and this cardigan was kind of a surprise to me because it's not the one I voted for. And that's a great thing too because Amy sends out an email with a survey asking you which designs you'd like to make for the make along. She does that for the spring and the fall and so you get to vote for your favorite one. She also gives you opportunities to offer suggestions or anything that might help you with the make along. So that is a great thing as well. quick the spring 2024 make along designs. I'm super excited to share them with you guys. They are so pretty and unique as always. So let's go ahead and dive in. Option one is the Lotus Sweater by Julia Norris. It is knit in the Spun Cloud Light and then a Wildflower Mini Kit. I just love the detail on the front of this. I think it is so pretty and I definitely plan on making this one. I love the combination of the Wildflower yarn and then the Spun Cloud yarn. I'll probably end up making this in a scrap yarn but it is so so pretty. It's a boat construction and it's got a high low hem which I think is super cute. I also love the split. It looks perfect for spring, perfect for those days that are a little bit chilly but also you want kind of a lighter sweater. Option two is the Lotus Pillow also by Julia Norris. It's got that same beautiful stitch pattern and I absolutely love it. I of course would love to make this one as well. I say that every time about all the designs. So that is really pretty if you want a home decor piece. It looks like it's 16 inches and it's knit flat in two pieces and then joined together you using an applied I-cord binding. And then option three is the Frolic Flower Shawl by Amy Small, the owner and founder of Nicolage. This one is crocheted and it looks beautiful in the wildflower yarn. It looks like this also has the waterfall yarn in it, which is a new one that I have never tried before. So that would be a really cool option. It's just such a cute statement piece if you're looking for that really special accessory. So you can make the shawl or you can make the long scarf, but that is super cute. So the last option, which is option four, and it looks like they're only doing the four main designs this time. They used to also do some bonus designs, but I think they really wanted to focus on the main design so that they could give you all of the tools to succeed in those main designs. Option four is the Sunbeam Stripe Sweater by Cheryl Kubat. This is knit in the Spun Cloud, a mini skein sampler, and then the Wildflower mini skein sampler. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful sweater. This is actually a pattern that I've seen before. Usually the patterns in the make along are new patterns that have never been seen before. This one I've actually seen before and always loved it, so I was super excited that it was going to be a part of the make along. I definitely love that you use all different kinds of yarn in the mini skein sampler kit. I love using dreamland yarn and daisy chain yarn. So I get most excited about the ones that use those types of yarn. I just love all the texture and the flowers in those. So this one is beautiful. It looks like you can really play around with how you do your colors. This would be a great scrap yarn project as well. So those are all of the options for the spring 2024 knit collage make along. Comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. I'm so glad that the one that I voted for did not make it to the final designs because I absolutely love this cardigan. I wear this one a lot as well. This is the Winding Road Cardi. I don't know if I'm going to say that this was a fun one to make because, oh my goodness, the combination of cables and also intarsia, it was very fiddly. Like it was, it was quite it was quite the fiddly cardigan. Now, it's not that I didn't enjoy working on it, but when I got to the sleeves, I was like so stumped. I tried it several times and I was like, oh my goodness, am I gonna get this? Is this sweater gonna have sleeves? But in the end, I'm so glad that I did it. I'm so glad that I chose it and it was a great opportunity for me to work on my cable skills. I had only done a few cables before, I think like a headband. And of course I've done crochet cables, but I had just not really done them very much before. And I was familiar with intarsia, but I thought this would be a unique challenge with the cables and the intarsia. So I've got a whole video about this one as well and you can see my journey, my sleeve journey, which, oh my goodness, I had to watch the video several, several times to finally understand how to make this sleeve. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It is so, so cute. And I absolutely love this breezy blue color. I think it's breezy blue, I believe. This is just the prettiest like periwinkle shade of blue. And so I really wanted to choose this color. This one's definitely one that I love to wear a lot. I also really loved using this Dreamland, I think in Shooting Star. I don't think it's available to buy individually anymore, but it is in the mini sampler, I believe. So I was excited to use that color too, because. I just love it so much with the sparkles and the neon. This was a really great option and I'm so glad that I made this sweater. 
that was fall 2022 and now we are on to spring 2023 which you guys may have seen in my recent everything I made in 2023 video. I just thought this was a really cute crochet bag. I thought it might be fun to make an accessory. It wasn't a difficult pattern. It was really easy. I think this would make a really great gift as well but I had fun kind of embellishing it. I had never done these little daisy beads before so that was a fun little added touch. So I chose this orange color in the wildflower yarn. This is just a great yarn. It's a fabric yarn. I believe it's screen printed and then laser cut into strips, but I just love how raw it is and the raw edges and it's very, very soft. I've made lots of fabric yarn in the past. I love making fabric yarn. I love the texture of it, but this wildflower yarn is especially soft. Sometimes I just want to try new colors that I've never tried before, or maybe a color is just speaking to me at the time. I don't know, but for some reason I was really into orange for a second. I mean, I still like orange, but I just go through these phases of being into colors for a little bit. I just love color so much and I want to try all the colors and all the combinations and all the things. Oh yes, and I also learned macrame for the base here, but that's all in the video as well if you want to check that out. So last we have the fall 2023 make along and that is this happy dance cardi. I chose this mainly because I wanted to try the happy dance yarn. It was new to knit collage and I absolutely loved it and y'all the more texture the more color the better in my opinion and so this one had just all sorts of gorgeous gorgeous colors and just little bits of things. I just, I was so excited to use it. So that's why I chose this one. And I know that now that the weather is starting to get warmer, even though it doesn't look like it today, but it definitely is starting to get warmer. So once it gets warmer, I can just wear this over a jacket or over a shirt and it will be a great, great layering piece. I do have a video all about this Happy Dance Cardi as well. And so if you want to check it out, I'll make sure to link it down below. But it was a really fun project because it was just easy to work on, something I could work on at night when I was super, super tired. I have to say that working with the yarn was just it just brought me joy every single time I worked with it it just brought me joy so that was a super fun part of it as well last but certainly not least is my Harley sweater that is right here I love this sweater so much like I mentioned before I really wanted to make this sweater for a previous make along but I just never got around to it so I was able to use a lot of the scraps that I had on hand I was also able to try a new daisy chain color in this and so that was super fun as well I absolutely love this sweater and I'm so happy that I finally made it I had never done entrelock before so that is something I learned and the videos helped me so so much it was so great to be able to go Go back and watch the video tutorials because I knew that I would definitely need a video tutorial to help me with this entrelock. It's not difficult but you know how sometimes when you're reading the pattern you can't quite visualize it and it helps so much to have a video tutorial with it and so I was so happy to have that option. It is just so so pretty. I love the texture. I love the basket weave. I just think it is super super cool. So I didn't technically make this with any make-along. I just knew that I always wanted to make this sweater and I had the pattern from the make-along but this is one that I just recently finished and so I'm super super happy with it and so glad that I was able to be a part of that make along and have the pattern in my library. Thank you guys so much for joining me and checking out all of my make along projects since 2020. I hope that they were inspiring and maybe gave you some ideas for your own projects. Like I said almost all of these patterns are available on the Knit Collage website so I'll be sure to put all of that information down below and also my affiliate link. If you have ever been a part of the make along I would love to hear what you've made, how your experience was. If you have any questions or anything like that, please put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. But thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!